Good morning, my name is Priyanka Kumar. I'm an attending ophthalmologist at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and an assistant professor of ophthalmology at the Perelman School of Medicine, University of Pennsylvania. I'm here today to talk to you about screen time and what the recommendations are um, for pediatric screen time. Um, these recommendations are based on consensus statements created by the American Academy of Pediatrics and the American Academy of Ophthalmology. And we recommend essentially that for children under 18 months of age, we avoid all digital screen time with the exception of video chatting or FaceTime, Skype, WhatsApp, and similar types of programs. Um, for children under 18 months of age, we really advise this to make sure that we're supporting natural visual development and stimulating um, them with natural visual stimuli. For children aged 18 to 24 months of age, it's recommended that parents and families slowly introduce digital screen time to their children and that they still are actively involved in terms of what's being watched and that they're monitoring what's being seen and educating their children about uh, the program and the content. For children who are aged two to five years of age, we recommend that we limit screen time to about an hour a day. And again, it's important to remember that this includes TV, computer, iPad, tablets, iPhones and other types of electronic programming with the exception of face, uh, video chatting and FaceTime. That being said, it's really important to try and make sure that parents are really showing their children high quality programming and are still actively involved in terms of what's being watched and uh, teaching their children about what's being seen. For kids over six years of age, the limits are a little bit less clear and we understand it can be very difficult to limit screen time based on the amount of homework that's being prescribed and the time that children need to spend on the computer to successfully accomplish their, their schoolwork. But that being said, it's important to really encourage children to do other things with their time and um, we still recommend limiting screen time in general to one to two hours a day if possible. This is all important because we know that adults develop symptoms associated with a computer vision syndrome when they spend excess time on the computer or screens of any kind. And these symptoms range from headaches, eye strain, fatigue, um, and asthenopia essentially. And we would assume that children are at risk for developing these same symptoms. And so these are why these limits are in place. Interestingly enough, these uh, limits and this concept of these types of symptoms are not based on any hard and fast science, but uh, more and more research is being done that shows us there is pro probably a correlation between these symptoms and screen time. A paper published in 2017 actually shows us that for children who are using more than three hours a day of total screen time, they're at a higher risk of de developing asthenopia, headaches, motor tics, and potentially even refractive error. Um, and so I think this really points to the fact that we need more research in this area and that we'd really like to uh, understand this a little bit better, but even though the study was observational, retrospective, and was a small cohort set, um, sample size, we would like to limit screen time according to the guidelines that were recommended by the AAP and the AAO. That being said, the flip side of this is that uh, more work is being done in terms of using video games and uh, dicoptic computer games to treat amblyopia, which for decades has been treated with patching, eye drops, and glasses. And I think this is an interesting area of research because children would much prefer to play a video game than have to have a patch on their eye. Um, but the studies are showing us that potentially all of these modalities used together potentially could treat amblyopia equally as effectively and improve compliance. Um, so look out for the results from the next papers about these types of studies and hopefully we'll have more information for you about this topic in general. Thank you for your attention.